Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a manner of holding the guitar using four points of contact on the body, not one of which is either hand. We want to keep the hands available for playing the guitar. First thing we need to do is elevate the left thigh, and the most common method of doing this is a footstool. This is an adjustable footstool. It has uh, varying heights. It's the highest one. Got some boots on today, so I'm going to go a little lower. And we elevate the left leg, and now we can talk about the four points of contact. The first point of contact is the top of the left thigh. And we put the waist of the guitar, that of course is this part, on top of the left thigh, and we have the neck angled at approximately 45 degrees to the floor. The second point of contact after the top of the left thigh is the inside of the right thigh and that's going to prevent the guitar from slipping to your right and downward. The third point of contact after the top of the left thigh and the inside of the right thigh is against the chest. This part of the guitar is known as the upper bout and the upper bout will lean just to the left of the center of the chest. And the last point of contact, which locks everything together, is under the right forearm. It's important that it is your forearm and not your upper arm. You don't want the elbow to come across there. If you draw an imaginary line up from the bridge on the lower bout, that's approximately where your forearm should cross you should be able to take the full weight of the arm, and that will lock everything together. This will put your right hand about over the sound hole. To review, the four points of contact are the top of the left thigh, the inside of the right thigh, against the chest, and under the right forearm. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.